Greetings, viewers. Ah, uh, Samantha and I were walking here by the river. Mm-hmm. So the water is in Jersey. Yes. And we saw an interesting young man, Jonathan. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Hi, and Jonathan. He's doing some magic tricks with his LED <laughs> gloves. Magic tricks. Yes. <laughs> which is very apparent from quite a ways back. Yes, it is. Apparently, there's a whole rave community of people who do this, and, well, I've never seen this before. He says that this is not an uncommon sight in Union Square in the summer. Hmm. You throw a lot of uh, Friday Night Lights. It's okay. a whole community of lovers. We all know each other. We all go to shows together and everything like that. Hmm. Are there competitions? Um, there is actually a bunch of competitions. We actually held our own for the second year in a row. Um, got actually a bunch of people out from like Massachusetts, Pennsylvania to yeah, come yeah. down. Uh, we rented a spot, held our own competition. There's also competitions held by Amazing Lights, which is the creators of these clubs. Okay. Shout out to Amazing Lights. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're great. Yeah. And uh, they hold competitions over in like California and they big, hold like big yeah, events. Big. Like five thousand people, ten thousand people. Um, one thousand people. I don't exactly know numbers, but a lot. Yeah. Honest, yeah. but it's a lot. And it's people from everywhere, from like Hawaii, from... That's big. If people are coming from other countries, that's got to be big. Yeah. No, it's, it's a huge yeah. thing. And a lot of it, it's a lot of like modern dance type. Uh, so they incorporate foot movements into the gloves. Do they put anything on their feet? Um, there are shufflers, uh -huh. which is another section of like rave, flow archy type of dancing and stuff like that, which they do have like light up shoes and stuff, which you watch people dance. It's actually pretty insane yeah. too. We got to check it out. I've never heard of it, yeah. but that's really dope. And then, yeah, so, basically I've been doing this for two years now. Oh, very cool. A friend of mine is from Australia, does stuff like hula hooping. My and, girlfriend's actually a hooper. Uh, like <laughs> fire throwing. Uh, um, boys are usually yeah, yeah. most of the fire things. Yeah, yeah. So she does that kind of stuff and travels with a group. Do you do, I don't know, do, do you guys have like a co-mingling of those kind of things? Uh, yeah, like I said, we have our own community here in New York. There are definitely several other communities around the United States, uh -huh. but um, Apparently ours, not just the United States. Yeah. Or, no, yeah, there are like, you, you get a lot of people from uh, like Japan and stuff like mm -hmm. that that have different... Um, but Japan doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then cool. um, for our community, we're called Empire Flow. Okay, so Empire Flow, You guys nice. check that out, it sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Do you have um, a hashtag? Uh, we actually have a Facebook group. If you don't mind, my hands are a little tied. But in that corner is our card. This one. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Give me the card. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that has our Facebook information on it. If you guys want to take a look. And... I also want to put it on the video. That's really uh -huh. interesting. Uh, you're, it, when you're at competitions, you're assist on technique, originality, speed um, execution. Clean, competitions uh, run basically on a scoring basis. Like we have scorecards and everything, which are judged on your flow, which is one basic aspect of like most arts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. How well you can connect your movements from one to the next and display what you're trying to display, which is the song. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you're also judged on creativity, how different your show is, how... Originality. Is. Yeah. Huh. Um, Complexity also, of maneuvers. Cleanliness is another one. How well you're executing oh, a move, okay, if yeah, it's yeah. straight mm -hmm. enough, especially when you break down to like tech and stuff like that, because a lot of these angles lose, a lot of these movements lose if they're like off angle. Yeah, or, yeah, sure. And then um, just basic overall showmanship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Showmanship is a lot, how you personally bring your gloving aspect mm -hmm. into what you're trying to throw in your show. Like no, no person is gonna throw you the exact same show back to back. Of course. So cool? it's really how your style is brought to the way you see how to glove. Interesting, how much does a good pair of gloves cost? Um, that depends. Starter sets would probably be about like 30, 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Which you could program your own colors. Uh -huh. It has like different flashing patterns, like my colors change. Ah. Dude, and when you put a single red light in there, it already puts a different flare on it. Mm -hmm. Right, and then that's another thing behind it, like a lot of color customization, a lot of thinking of what different that's flashing great. patterns can do and stuff like that's that. That's great. Yeah, this is how well. <laughs> and like professional gloves are probably a few hundred dollars. Mine were 180 when I bought them. Mm -hmm. Okay. These. Uh, yeah, these. Okay. Yeah. And then the newest Spectras, because the Amazing Whites dropped their whole prices and everything. Like uh, the newest Spectras are about $140, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, one of a friend of ours, Jared mm -hmm. Fallon, also has uh, his own um, 
LED, which oh. is LED gloves. LED so gloves. I give them a check out too. Yes. Um, he's one of the glovers in our community as well, and his lights go for around the same, probably 100 to 110. Nice. Very, very interesting. It's been uh, very uh, illuminating talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I like that. And what was your name again? One more time. Jonathan. 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 It was you nice to meet you, New Jonathan. York? Yes. Born and raised here in Queens. Ah, huh? It's okay. interesting. Ever since I came to New York, I've lived in all five boroughs. I'm from Ukraine. So okay. Yes, it's a city on the Black Sea. Throws the water from Turkey. Everybody's heard of Turkey, but lately people have heard of the Dessa. But anyway, uh, Samantha's from Oregon, and we have a side, Oregon School of Dessa. We have our books and, you know, other interesting uh, paraphernalia on that side. We always tell people to check it out because we're trying to sort of maybe uh, make a inner connection within the creative community in all its aspects because I think that people who have a flair and a desire and a zeal and an ability and a talent for something are, well, they say everybody has a talent. I tend to think that not everybody has a talent. So perhaps more people. Yeah, some discover. So there are more people who have talent than we know of, but some people simply don't care for it, which doesn't really berate the thing, but just their appreciation of it. Right. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is a very unique form. Mm. I like it very much. Yes. Well, it was nice meeting you. Definitely. I'm going to leave you to right. practice. Thank you. Sure. Keep on uh, loving. Yeah, yes. have a good day. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye.